All right, hey, what's up, guys? This is F Epsilon144. Let me plug in my microphone real quick, and we'll get started on... Yeah, now. All right, uh, we'll get started on how to install FL Studio into a new computer. So you have a new computer, you want to bring FL Studio into it. It's very easy. I'll try to keep this video under five minutes and show you the steps to get it. First of all, you want to come online to imageline.com. And uh, it's basically just right here. It's imageline. Imageline.com. I'll put a link to that in the description, which doesn't work. So I won't put a link to that one, but I will get the working one going for you. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So imageline FL Studio right here. Um, this is it. You come in. You want to log in basically. Uh, make sure you're logged into your account. If you forgot your login, you got to reset your password and do all that good stuff. Make sure you're logged in. Then there'll be an option for my account right here. Click on that. And you'll have options available for you on the left side for my licenses. You want to click on my licenses and then choose the bundle or edition that you most recent or the, the biggest one that you paid for in my case it's the signature bundle uh you might have gotten the big one that is like the the huge one that has all the vsts and plugins you might have got the signature but whatever is the biggest one that you have uh choose that one you'll you'll see three simple instructions to install fl studio onto your computer and you'll notice step three is to unlock FL Studio by entering your account email and password uh, that you did to log into the site. And I'll show you that in FL Studio once you download it. So here are the two options you have for downloading. You have it from their image line server and you have it from Google Drive. You can choose which one you want to use. Uh, either one's fine. It just helps speed up download time. All right. So basically you come here and you save it on your computer. Um, it'll take probably four to five minutes to download and then four to five minutes to install. If you have any questions about the installation, let me know. I'm not going to actually install it and download it because I already have it. You just basically go through the, you know, you just do the basic installation process. You hit next a few times, you hit agree, and then you install it on your computer. Um, if you have questions about that, leave a comment and I'll help you through the installation. It's pretty self-explanatory though. And then you'll get the icon down here. You'll see the FL Studio little fruit thingy, uh, fruity loops, little fruit for fruity loops. And you have that icon. You click on it, and you'll open up FL Studio. Everything appears to be working, and they should have some kind of screen here that says you have to unlock it. But you'll notice if you try to save your project, it'll tell you that you can't reopen your project until you have a license, which you hopefully do. You know, you d you do. If you downloaded it from ImageLine, um, so you have to unlock that by coming to this little question mark up here next to Tools. There's Options, Tools, and the question mark. You click on that question mark and you come to About, and then here on this page you'll have the same place for your email and password. It's the same email and password that you use to log into your ImageLine account online, and then you just uh, unlock it and you'll have access to all the features you paid for in your license whether you have the signature fruity or producer edition, you'll get the features and you'll get the plugins and you'll, you'll be able to fully use FL studio. Um, right there. So email password and you're good to go. You can also get to that screen. If you come to options and you just pick any one of these options, MIDI audio general, uh, about is located over here on the right and you'll be able to click on about and do the same thing that way. Um, all right. So basically that'll give you access to all your, your VSTs that you have if you got Citrus or uh, if you got uh, Harmer or Harmless, those are some good ones there. Basically the ones from ImageLine. Um, if you have any like third-party VSTs, if you have third-party plugins, you have to bring those over manually with an external hard drive along with your samples. So I have, I have some samples here. Um, I had to bring those over manually on an external hard drive, which I just used. You can use a flash drive or you can use a, a bigger external hard drive if you have one that has more storage. Um, here are all my samples that I just brought over and then installed them. We're not installed them, but just routed FL Studio to find them using the options, 
and then file settings right here you can tell fl studio to locate files on your computer and to put those files into the browser for you to use as sounds so you have various sounds um and yeah that that should do it you should get fl studio back up and running and probably less than hopefully maybe 15 minutes or so and you're good to go if you have any questions about this please leave a comment um yeah, hopefully it works for you. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you out. And like this video and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the future in another video. Thank you. Peace.